morning, everyone. It's uh, 8.36 on the 30th of uh, March, and it's a Thursday, so it's claims day. Um, initial claims down 4,000 at 198,000. This is not a good situation. Um, clearly, the labor market is dramatically stronger than the Fed wants it, um, and it just shows literally no sign of really moving in the direction that we need. Uh, continuing claims, 1,689,000 versus last week's 1,685,000. Again, not good. Um, you know, what this means is that people who are losing their jobs, and we see the layoffs every single day, um, are finding new jobs. So the economy clearly remains strong. This is definitely one of those uh, good news for the economy is probably bad news for the market. Uh, last look, final for GDP, revised down 2.6 versus 2.7. Um, and the core number uh, was adjusted up to 1.4 versus 1.3. Uh, the deflator came in exactly as expected at 3.9. So um, not a lot of action there. Uh, as far as stocks, this morning we have Asia and Europe both a little higher. Um, carryover from last night, I mentioned RH, formerly Restoration Hardware, uh, was down about uh, $12. Uh, this morning it's down fifteen sixty nine, two hundred and thirty oh two. Uh, 6.4%. And Roku, continuing to lay off more people and restructure, uh, gets a little bit of a move here, 66.30, up 239, or 3.7%. Um, Semtech, SMTC, this is one I mentioned yesterday because uh, they were having earnings and we had uh, big moves yesterday in um, MU. Intel, the SOXX, which is the semiconductor um, index, not great for SMTC. Uh, a big miss, a bunch of downgrades. It had closed 32.11 um, and has been as low as 26.20. Last is 26.63. That's down 5.48 or 17%. Um, CVS getting a little bit of help here this morning. Uh, OSH, that's Oak Street Health. That's the primary care uh, portion that they are trying to build into their model. Uh, says that it will finish uh, the acquisition in the first half of this year, which means basically this coming quarter. Um, you know, when I look at this and I see that most of the news here is nothing more than four or five mass tort companies reminding you that you can become part of, uh, you know, the uh, class action for better pricing. It's not going to happen. Uh, clearly, the company has agreed to be acquired. They think that the number is fine, and uh, we're moving up pretty close to that number. I think it's 39. I think the last I saw in the stock was 38 and change up a couple of bucks. Um, SCYX. I can't even pronounce this one, but I will tell you that this little company that 10 days ago was a dollar fifteen uh, this morning has hit three dollars and eighty six cents. Uh, the reason that I mention it, because I don't usually mention the really little ones, is that they have a very big partner, uh, GlaxoSmithKline (GSK). Uh, they have an exclusive agreement for the commercialization of an antifungal and. Uh, the stock, as I said, three fifteen up a dollar forty eight, eighty nine percent. So um, a really nice move there. Um, we have the chart on the screen is the oil. Again, 
we're going to cross to the upside here. Um, you know, I know that we did it a bunch of times in this wave uh, for, you know, the last uh, four months. This is a daily. Um, but, uh, you know, this is a little bit different because these are not the kind of move that we had here from, you know, 81 down to 64. Um, I still think we need some consolidation here. We were down yesterday, closed on the low, even though the drawdown from uh, uh, inventories was almost 7.5 million barrels. Uh, this morning, we have uh, a slightly lower high, a slightly lower low, but we are on the uh, top of that and up 64 cents on the day. The real performer for us, I think, is the gold versus silver. I've been harping on this, that um, the position here with both of them going up favors the silver on that uh gold to silver spread. Um, at the end of uh, last week, uh, it had continued to widen. And as of uh, today, right now, um, the uh, gold is up 730. Uh, but the silver is up almost 60 cents. Uh, that spread gold to silver, which as I said, favors the silver here. That would be long two silver contracts, short one gold, has uh, contracted this week from uh, 87 to 82. That's a huge, huge number. And as I've reminded everyone repeatedly, I own a lot of physical silver. Um, we have not yet broken out the way that the gold has, but this is a pretty interesting uh, bottoming at a breakout point at support. A big move up, a running correction, another move up, another consolidation running correction. And, uh, you know, today the silver is up uh, 2.5%. Uh, while the gold, let's just take a look, it's up $7. That's uh, probably about four-tenths, I believe. Let's see, 0.34. So a third of a percent in the gold and two and a half percent in the silver. So again, that clearly, clearly favors the silver. All right, everyone, it's opening day. I won't be around uh, for the uh, closing comment or daily note tonight. I'll be back first thing in the morning. Have a good one.